Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I haven't done one of these in a while and it is a get ready with me and I figured that it'd be great to do a kind of like barbecue summer style. So I'm actually going to my friend Marielle's barbecue later on tonight or later in the day and I figured let me just hop in front of the camera and kind of just show you what I would wear. So a lot of this makeup is stuff that I know that will withstand the humidity and the heat. There is a heat wave going on right now in New York. Um, so. That's why there's no false slashes, there's no wing liner. I just kept it really soft and simple, which I love because I don't want to have to worry about my <laughs> wing coming off or smudging or something while like it's hot and humid. So without further ado, come on and get ready with me so we can get this summer glowy barbecue look. So first we're going to start off with a little dance party. I was listening to some MJ, so I was feeling myself, getting in the mood. So we're gonna start by going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Granite. And I'm just, I was a little upset because I dropped it and lost some product. But I'm filling them in. I'm going to carve them out with some concealer, blend it in, and then tap it off with some Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Bout Brow Gel. So I have my eyebrow routine, which I'll leave linked down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. Then we're gonna go in with MAC Ochre Soft Paint Pot. And we're just gonna use this as a base for our eyeshadow to prime our lids. And then we're gonna go in with the Lorac Pro Palette. I love this. Clearly, I was excited. Then we're gonna go in with the first shape, which is taupe. And we're gonna go in with the blending brush and put this in the crease and just really define that crease. Then I'm gonna use a Sigma E40 to blend it out so it looks very diffused and airbrushed. So just keep on blending, girl. Then we're going to go in with the white from the palette and use it as a brow bone highlight and go back to the E40 and just blend it out. Then we're going to take the color Stable and use the E25 from Sigma and really just define that crease a little bit more so it has a little bit more definition. And we're taking this highlighting stick from Trustique just as a base and to give that really like a glowy look to the brow bone as well. Then using the light brown, light bronze shade from the palette, we're gonna take a flat shader brush and place this all over the lid so it looks very like soft, shimmery, not too much, but it's perfect. And then we're gonna go back in with a sable with the E25 and go into the crease. Now I'm obsessed with this. This is a Sephora felt tip uh, eyeliner. Oh my God, I love it. It makes eyeliner so easy. And then I'm gonna use the pencil version and go in and tight line up. So it just creates a very defined eye. And then I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. It's my go-to, I always have to go in with this. And for a little bit extra glow, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lumi Primer. Now here I am correcting and concealing my dark spots and acne. So if you wanna see how I do that, I'll link down the video below. And then we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in the shade, <laughs> a little too much, 205. And I'm gonna go and blend everything out with my Beauty Blender. This is a must-have tool if you don't have one. I'm telling you, go to Sephora and get one right now. Now I'm gonna go in and conceal and brighten with the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. And this is in the shade Light. As you can tell, it really brightens, which I love just to give that light into my face. And I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender to really just blend everything out and make sure that you use this wet otherwise it's just a regular sponge <laughs> now we're gonna go in and we're gonna bake I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I like to bake when I'm gonna be outside for long periods of time so it kind of makes my concealer you know smudge proof and crease proof then we're gonna go in with the it cosmetics contour palette and this is in the soft contour shade and I'm using the NARS Gita brush I'm just doing my jawline, um, carving out my cheekbones and my nose just to really add a lot of definition into my face, but not really overdoing it. We're still really gonna look soft, which we're going for, it's a barbecue. And then I'm using my soft, small angled contour brush from Sigma, I love this. It just really diffuses out the product very nicely, so I always go in with after and blend my contour with this. And then we're going to wipe off the, all that excess powder. You want to make sure that you wipe it off so it doesn't leave any white overcast. And I'm using a Real Techniques 
setting brush and this is my go-to. For the price point, you cannot beat it. Next, we're gonna take this elf brush that I got from CVS, I think, and we're just gonna use that to blend out the contour on the nose so it doesn't look too harsh or like we have brown. Now we're going in with the Physician's Formula um, Butter Bronzer, which I love, it smells so good. It's literally a dream. And I'm just using that to define and add some definition back into my cheeks, pretty much everywhere I contoured. And I'm also adding on the temples of my cheeks where the sun would normally hit your face and just really bringing up that bronze shade so we look nice and tan. And now I'm also topping it with Park Ave Princess from Tarte, and I love going in with this as like a bronzer topper. It just adds a little bit of shimmer and it gives it like a more bronze look, which is definitely what we're going for. And then I'm using the Laura Geller Baked Blush, and then this is in the shade Fruit Punch, and you wanna make sure that you're light-handed because it is very pigmented, but it's beautiful. And I'm just blending everything out with a dual fiber brush. This one is from Sony Classic, and I always do this just to make sure that everything really blends into the face really nicely. Now we're going in with the Physicians Formula Highlight. I'm gonna leave all the products linked down below, but I'm highlighting the tops of my cheeks, and then I'm also gonna do my nose, my cupid's bow, and really just pack that on. So I took a little bit of a pencil brush to kind of define my cupid's bow with the highlight and make sure that it pops, as well as on my nose. And you know, we wanna be glowy, so I'm really packing it on with the highlighter. <laughs> and again, just add as much or as little as you want, but for me, this is what I felt comfortable with, and I just love the way that it came out. It just looks really radiant and dewy, which I love. Then we're taking the ABH highlighting stick and using it on our water lid, and then we're going in with taupe to really just define that lower lid and making sure that we have it evenly on both sides. And then we're gonna go in with the blending brush and take sable and blend that all out and diffuse it so it really looks smoked out. I love this effect, I wear it pretty much every day. And then we're putting some highlight in the inner corner so our eyes look open. And then, you know, a little another dance session. We're taking some mascara. This I got in my Ipsy bag from last month. I didn't really care for it, so I used it on my bottom lashes, but for my top, I went with my trusty mascara. And this is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Girl, I am telling you, you need this mascara in your life. I always get asked what I'm wearing, and this is it. It just, it's perfection. Now we're gonna go in with NYX Cosmetics the lip liner in the shade Natural, and this is such a, Close shade to my natural lip color, so I love it. I use it anytime I wear a nude lipstick or anything. Then we're gonna go in with Allure Geller, and this is Soho, I believe is the name of the shade. And it's a beautiful peachy, pinky color, perfect for summer. And then I'm going in with Elizabeth Arden's lip gloss just to really give it a nice overall glow. To finish off the look, we're gonna add some Fix Plus, and this is just gonna accentuate the glow, and then go in with Urban Decay All Nighter Spray to set it best combo ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Get ready with me and just try some of these products out. I know it's a lot of products, but it is a full face of glam. Um, I don't discriminate for events, any type of event. First birthday party, you know, children's birthday party, barbecues, anything like that, I'm gonna do a full face of makeup. So, <laughs> might not be suited for everyone, but if you're into it like me, this is just kind of what I put together as a very soft and summery barbecue summer look. So I hope you guys liked it. Remember to thumbs up this video if you wanna see more beauty tutorials, and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media, which is Tiffany Diana. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.